Well, the warden 43 asked me, hey, for Mondays, can you draw a pizza? Hmm, what's the favourite thing I like to eat? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well, from above, a pizza is basically a circle. And then you have a load of blobby cheese on it. And if it's a Four Seasons, you're going to want to have... Well, I suppose it depends. I think different people make Four Seasons in different ways. They put pepperoni on there and mushrooms here and then anchovies and olives here and tomatoes there. Now, if you were wanting to do it from an angle, then you're going to want to draw an ellipse instead of a circle. And if you're not sure about this, go and see here my video about ellipses. And we want a bit of thickness to this one, so let's put the... The cheese would be another ellipse, but the top will be on the top of the ellipse there like that. And there'll be a slight curve to it. And you will have your pepperoni here and your mushrooms here and your anchovies there and tomatoes there. The so draw in on the outside and then you want your cheese to be quite blobby. And your pepperoni will be spotty. And your mushrooms will be quite mushroomy. And your tomatoes will be quite tomatoey. And your anchovies will be quite anchovy-y. And your olives will be quite olive -y -y. Olive-ish. On this side you might like to sort of draw bits first on the top. So the mushrooms will be flatter. Everything will have to be squashed a bit. And the pepperoni will be ellipses as well, it won't be circles. And they'll get thinner the further away you go. And the anchovies and the olives. And then the tomatoes over here will be very flat and ellipse-like as well. Then you want to put your cheese in, blobbing and dripping down the sides, followed by your crispy crust. And a little bit of shading will give it depth. And you want a bit of shading around on that as well. The pepperoni needs spots in it, of course. And then we'll have a little bit. This could be either the tomato oozing out the side or a little bit of kind of shadow that the cheese is making. And you can put some texture in on the cheese to break it up. And also a little bit of shadow to put it on the table, as I say on the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. And here again, and we can put some of those little gills inside the mushrooms to give it some texture. Maybe a bit of texture on the tomatoes. And the cheese will need to be, that's kind of crispy at the edges, isn't it? It should be, have a bit of browning and bubbling. I was going to show you how to paint a pizza as well. And this is all done in watercolour very, very quickly. Um, I wasn't too happy with the watercolour bit. So at the end, I thought I would sharpen it up with watercolour crayons or coloured pencils. And um, I'm still not entirely happy with it. So I'll just show you this and uh, call it a day.